We bet you can't wait to get cooking with your new Pressure King Pro, so let's take a look at how it works. PKP has been specially designed to be easy and safe to use, but it's important to always follow these five simple steps every time you use it to keep it working properly. First, make sure your Pressure King Pro is laid on a clean, flat surface and the inner pot is in place, then add your ingredients. When preparing your ingredients, remember to pierce any food with a skin, like fruit, sausages and chicken. And don't forget to add enough liquid, but make sure you never fill the pot beyond the max line. If you're cooking food that expands, like rice, pasta, porridge, pulses or beans, don't fill beyond halfway to the max line. Next, close and seal the lid. Place the lid on the unit, lining up the arrows here. Twist the lid anti-clockwise until it locks in place and the front panel lights up. There's a magnetic sensor that ensures the lid is closed before the unit can pressurize properly. If you're using a pressure cooking function, set the pressure release valve to the closed position. Don't worry, it's designed to be loose. If you're using the slow cook function, set the pressure release valve to the open position. Now, it's time to select your function and start cooking. Check out our selecting a function video for more information. On the three and five liter models, if the lid isn't on properly when you've chosen a function, PKP will beep and the word lid will flash on the display. As a safety precaution, it won't start cooking until you've closed the lid correctly. Then, Pressure King Pro will begin building pressure. You'll see two zeros rotating on the display. Once it has reached pressure, the float valve will pop up and the timer will begin to count down. When your food's ready, PKP will beep to let you know and automatically switch into keep warm mode. Now it's time to get to that pressure cooked goodness. If you've been using a pressure cooking function, you need to release the pressure before opening the lid. If you've used the slow cook function, skip ahead to step five. Always make sure to wear an apron and oven gloves as the contents of the unit are very hot. First, press the cancel button. Now, there are two ways to release the pressure, depending on the recipe you follow. For food that cooks quickly, like vegetables and seafood, you can use the quick release method. Wearing oven gloves and an apron, turn the pressure release valve to the open position and wait for the float valve to drop down. Wait one to two minutes, then take hold of the base unit's handles and give PKP a gentle shake to release any steam that may be trapped within your food. For food with skins, with a high starch content or a large liquid volume, we recommend the slow release method to avoid any splashing of hot food once the lid is removed. After pressing cancel, leave the pressure release valve in the closed position for at least 15 minutes. This may take longer depending on the recipe. When the float valve has dropped, move the release valve to the open position and ensure all the pressure is released. Remember, while wearing oven gloves and an apron, give your PKP a gentle shake to release the trapped steam and ensure the inner pot isn't stuck to the lid. Now, whichever method you've used, it's time to open the lid. To open, simply twist the lid clockwise to the open position and remove slowly, angling the lid away from you. If the lid doesn't open easily, there's still some pressure in the unit. Never try to force it. Wait a few minutes and try again. That's it. Follow these easy steps when cooking and you and your family will enjoy many delicious meals. 